Hey, I'm Gary with Sagebrush Cycles, and today we received our uh, E13 12-speed cassette upgrade kit, and we're going to be installing it into one of our Team Ripper's bikes, Austin Hipperly. All right, so we've already started by removing the shifter and the derailleur from the bike. We're going to use a 3 mil hex Allen and counterclockwise. Break that loose. So loosen that bolt and then pull forward and break that piece loose. Set that somewhere safe and close because you're going to need to put it back on. And then from there, uh, we're going to remove the plastic cover here. All right, start. So be mindful that now we're removing this last bolt, we need to be holding the shifter body together. Now that we've removed those bolts, it's going to allow us to remove this top plastic cage piece. So it just falls right off, being, being mindful to hold this together. So set that close because you're going to need that as well as those three bolts. So now we're going to flip that back over and line up the claw. So now we've got the claw properly installed. You're going to reinstall those three screws. So you're going to notice that there are two long screws and one short screw. Uh, it's really simple where, how these go back. So now the claw is installed so you can rest assured that it's not going to fall apart on you so you don't have to worry as much. Um, the next is going to be, we're going to remove the spring here. Uh, so you're going to remove it from its little spot there. And then it's connected again at the middle there. So go ahead and remove that spring, put that somewhere safe. The next, you're going to need your T25 and your four hex. T25 is going to go through the bottom end. This is where it's going to be tricky. You're going to need to hold the claw and the T25 together to not allow that T25 to back itself out. You're going to want it to back this four up and out and allow the spool to come off. So applying pressure downward, holding the T25 in place, and you're going to back this out. And it's going to start kind of feeling like the little cross-threaded, and then it frees right up. And you can see that the whole spindle is, cu is coming up, and the T25 is staying in place. You don't want to back that out uh, and push the bearings out there. So so go ahead and remove that. And then you're going to take off the old spindle and you can save that if you decide you don't like having gears and want to go back to 11 you got that so you can see here the square on the plastic ratchet side here is going to line up with this paw by my thumb that little square you want to be able to see that through this window and I'll let you know that it's properly aligned. Okay, so we're going to install the ratchet back into the sh shifter here. So So I'm squeezing this together and I'm using a four mil to thread back into that T25. Remember to keep tension on the back of the shifter plate and the top of the shifter plate as you remove these final bolts. Uh, and then it, be mindful that they're going to go back in in a certain order. So uh, your longer ones are going to go to the left of your shifter uh, trigger and across and then below it will be the shorter one. 
All right, so next we're going to install the spring through the window here and underneath that wing. So kind of coming at it at an angle, pop it into that window underneath the wing, and then we're going to push the spring forward and it's going to rest in this little notch built into the side of the shifter body. So next we're going to install the top of the shifter back into the shifter body. And so, and we're going to need to be very mindful that we have this outer spring here over the top of this little lip. Um, if you don't do that step, your shifter is not going to function properly. After we've installed our plastic um, top cap here, we're going to flip the shifter body over and reinstall those three screws. So when th threading in your three bolts on the bottom, uh, you're on your left here next to the trigger are going to be your two long screws and over here next to your barrel adjuster is going to be the shorter one. Um, if you mix that up, it'll be pretty obvious. Uh, the longer screw here will come through the other end and you won't be able to put the top cap on. So, uh, no biggie, you'll just have to go back and fix that. All right. Now that we have our shifter back together, we're going to do a test shift. So, the next step is going to be to reinstall your cable into the shifter and then the top cap onto the top here and with a three millimeter allen reinstall the top. Now that the shifter is done we're going to work on the derailleur. We're going to need to remove this back cage piece and we're going to need to be sure not to lose these back pieces because um, we're going to be replacing the bearing caps with the new E13 bearing caps that have been installed for, to or given to us as well as the two E13 bolts. The longer bolt here is going to go into your lower pulley. The shorter bolt is going to go into your upper pulley. So we're going to start with a three mil and remove the pulleys. So I have the shorter bolt through the pulley cage and reinstalling the pulley and then the back cage will set right on through that bolt. Three mil to thread that back on. Then we're going to move to our lower pulley, remove the cap that has the bigger lip. Now reinstalling the lower pulley with the longer E13 bolt that we've been supplied. All right, so now we're finished. We've got our 11 speed shifter and derailleur updated with the new 12 speed E13 internals. And all we gotta do is get it back on the bike and the cassette swapped over to the new E13 cassette and adjust our limit screws and put the chain on the bike and we're ready to ride.